There are many advantages of representing models using beam elements in simulation. The accuracy, automation and study support have continued to be extended in SciWorks Simulation 2012. Let's take a look at the Jeep current example to review some of these great new capabilities. Beam elements are now supported in linear dynamic analysis. This means getting answers back on the performance of your design in a fraction of the time. SOLIDWORKS simulation now automatically generates section properties including the torsional constant, the distance for max shear stress, and the shear factors. Any profile is supported, whether from Wellman or solid geometry. Defining the contacts between solids, shells, and beams has been greatly automated in SOLIDWORKS simulation 2012. The end of structural members are automatically bonded to the corresponding solid or shell faces. But more importantly, the beam's cross-section is imprinted and the mesh is refined to create a more accurate connection and result on the connected face. This is great for getting high detail results in localized areas. You may notice that the beam mesh can now be displayed on the actual geometry providing clearer insight into the layout of the structure and connections. Looking at the beam combined stress, you can see the concentration in the brace that supports the main beam. As with the mesh, results are also displayed back on the 3D geometry, giving incredible clarity into the results over the beam section. The Vermeer's stress result in the mass clearly shows the accurate load transfer from the beam into the solid geometry. Comparing to completely solid models, we can see there is a significant reduction in the time and file size now by utilizing beams. This means engineers can spend more time testing different design alternatives to best meet their requirements. SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2012 beam improvements allow designers to work smarter, getting the work done more efficiently and accurately.